this demonstration we're going to have a look at setting up and configuring a single item recovery so that we can recover a deleted folder uh, with the discovery search mailbox to the original mailbox location. So the first thing we need to do here is just now exchange management shell. We need to set up the mailbox that is going to be set up for single item recovery. So what I've got here, I've got set hyphen mailbox, Scott MacDonald hyphen single item recovery enabled true. So we'll just run that little command. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to set up the new management role assignment for our mailbox uh, import export. And we're going to set that for user administrator. So we'll just run that one as well. Now that we've done that, we can see that this is in place. So the next thing to do here really is just go into Scott McDonald's mailbox. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to delete some of his items, purge some of his items, and hopefully we'll be able to get them back by using the single item recovery. So what I'm going to do here, just come into Internet Explorer. And within Internet Explorer, I'm just going to go into Outlook Web Act. So as we can see here, Scott's got a personal stuff folder. We'll just read his email. I guess he just says, hi, Scott. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to delete this folder. So that's now gone. If you have a look at deleted items, you can see that it's not currently sitting in here. Highlight up a bit, you can see, just see the personal stuff down here. Now one of the things I could do is retrieve it from deleted items. But what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to empty out deleted items. So deleted items is now gone. We have a look at the deleted items folder, definitely gone. What we can do here with this being uh, exchange and the way that we've set up the mailbox, we've actually told it to retain emails for 14 days, even after we've deleted them from deleted items. So one of the things we could do here is just recover deleted items. And as we can see, we've got Scott's mail, so we could retrieve the mail. What we're gonna do is just purge out the mailbox. So it has definitely gone. Next thing I want to do here is just log in as administrator and see if I can retrieve that email. So we've come into Outlook Web App as administrator. What we're going to do here is we're just going to come to the Options pane. This will then launch up Exchange Control Panel. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to go to My Organization. Now within My Organization, if I just have a look at the administrator roles, we can see under Discovery Management that administrator is a member of this role. And as we can see here, members of this management role can perform searches of mailboxes in the exchange organization for data that meets specific criteria. And what we're going to have a look at here is just the discovery management folder. So into reporting, into mailbox search. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to do a new search. We're going to do a search within here for mailboxes to search. We're going to search for Scott McDonald's email mailbox. Click OK here. Next thing we're going to do here is just search name and storage location. And what we're going to do a search for here is we're actually going to do a search for the discovery mailbox. So what we'll do here, just within this little bit here, we'll just type in the name of the mailbox that we wish to search. So click our browse button. And within here we're having a look at the discovery search mailbox. So we'll click OK here. And in the case of the search name, what we need to do is we just need to type in exactly what it is that we're going to be searching here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in purged mailbox items. So we've done that now. So the next thing to do here will just be to send me an email when the search is done. So that I know exactly when this thing's finished. And what we'll also do as well is we'll just enable full logging so that we can get additional information about a search. We'll save our search off. So the search has now started. So as we can see across here, it's currently in progress. So this is going to take a little while for this to complete. But once this is completed, and I'm not going to sit and watch this thing, what we should find is we should be able to then retrieve Scott's purged emails from within this search. Great, so this has come back now, it's now finished. So the user administrator, as we can see, we found four items. So we'll come back to my mail. Once we come back to my mail, we can see that the search has completed and we can see down here that we've actually recovered four items. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna actually search through this and what we should be able to find is we should be able to find Scott's emails. So at the top here, we'll just click on administrator. We're just gonna select another mailbox and what we're gonna have a look at here is the discovery. 
search mailbox. Once we've got that discovery search mailbox, we'll click open. Now that we're in here, what we've got, we've got some unread mail. And as we can see here, we've got Scott's personal email here. So we'll click OK here. We can see that we've got Scott's email back. So the next thing we could do here is give this mail back to Scott. And what we've done here is we've actually retrieved his personal email. So the advantage of using that single item recovery is even though Scott had purged his email, by setting up his user to be supported with single item recovery, we can retrieve the email back from the discovery mailbox. The advantage of this is that we haven't had to do a brick of a restore to get his email back. So this is one of the new features that we get in Exchange 2010. That's the end of the demonstration. Thanks very much.